February is Heart Month, and all month long we'll be bringing you stories on different aspects of heart health. Tonight we're focusing on new research involving a condition called atrial fibrillation, or AFib for short. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at what it is and a new study on the best ways to treat it. Yeah, Kim, so AFib is the most or one of the most common types of heart arrhythmias. It causes nearly half a million hospitalizations every year. Now, when someone has AFib or atrial fibrillation, the upper chambers of the heart are beating irregularly and blood isn't flowing as it normally should. A heart normally beats like the one on the left. A heart in AFib is uncoordinated like the one on the right, causing it to beat too fast, too slow, or irregularly. That can lead to blood clots, stroke, and in some cases, heart failure. If we wait too long to address atrial fibrillation, it is more difficult for us to manage it. Cleveland Clinic Dr. Osama Wozni says it's important to see your doctor if it feels like your heart flip-flops or skips a beat. Traditionally, medication is the first treatment used to manage intermittent AFib. If medication doesn't work, doctors will try a procedure called an ablation. Dr. Wozni led a clinical trial which found ablation is safe and more effective as the initial treatment. Researchers looked at more than 200 patients at 24 hospitals. Patients received a cryo-balloon ablation or the standard medication. After a year, 75% of people who had the ablation were still free from AFib. Only 45% of patients who took medication were still AFib free. Wozni says using ablation as the first treatment could keep AFib away longer and prevent it from getting worse. That's very good news for our patients, but also if you take into account healthcare utilization, those patients took medication and they, a big proportion of them uh, still ended up needing an ablation. Now, this was an FDA regulated study, so it could have an impact on how doctors ultimately do treat AFib in the future. Back to you. All right, great information. Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.